I recently returned from teaching some digital photography classes at the main media workshops. The images from that trip are already in my Lightroom catalog, but the files are on my laptop or on portable drives, and they need to be moved to the primary external hard drive where my image archive is stored. And this brings up one of the questions that I run into most about Lightroom, especially from those who are new to the program. How to keep your image catalog up to date after returning from a trip. This is especially important if you are traveling with a laptop like I was, downloading the images to the laptop drive or to a portable storage device and then using Lightroom while on location to catalog your photos and work with the images. In this tutorial movie, I'll show you how to move files between drives so that any previous cataloging or development work you've done is preserved and Lightroom keeps track of where your images are. When I'm traveling, I typically download the photographs from my camera's memory card onto a, a drop folder that's either on my computer desktop or perhaps in my pictures folder. And uh, I also back up those files when I'm traveling to a separate external hard drive. That way, if anything catastrophic should happen to my primary laptop hard drive or if the computer is stolen, uh, I have a separate backup of my images on a totally separate hard drive. When I get back to my studio, what I need to do is move the files from this folder here that exists on my laptop drive, I need to move these folders over to my primary image archive drive, which is this one here, the image archive 01A. And if I drill down to where I need to put those, I would need to put those in the folder labeled 2008. However, rather than actually move the files here in the uh, Macintosh Finder view or in Windows Explorer if I was on a PC, the more efficient way to do this is to use Lightroom because that way Lightroom can keep track of the location of those images and it always knows where they are and the database is up to date. Now a great improvement in Lightroom 2.0 is that they now show you here on the left side of the library module the actual name of the hard drive that your images are stored on. So you can see I have here my primary Macintosh hard drive and this is the um, the SD Image Archive 01A, which is where I need to move those files. And so what I'm going to do is just simply grab a folder and drag it onto the folder where I want to place it. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, this folder here, which are some pictures of the interior of the Rockport Opera House, just because it's only a few pictures and it'll move relatively fast. And I'll just click on it and drag it down to on top of the 2008 folder and that will move the folder not only within the Lightroom catalog but it'll actually move the actual files on my hard drive. So let me just grab that and click on it and drag it down there and drop it there and it will tell me that I'm moving folders on the disk uh, and uh, it may take a while and that the action cannot be undone. Well this is in fact what I want to do so I'm going to click move and then up here in the upper uh, left you see the progress bar and once it completes that task, it will have moved the folder. So if I come down here, I can see that there it is, the Rockport Opera House. So that's how you would move that in Lightroom 2. Now the other way to bring your images up to date is uh, if you have moved a folder um, outside of Lightroom. So if you were out here in the Macintosh Finder and you'd actually moved a folder just by clicking and dragging it from one volume to another, you're going to see a little um, question mark show up here on the folder icon in the list view. And also in the uh, thumbnails, you're going to see a question mark show up there. So if you get that happening, what you need to do is tell Lightroom where that folder has been moved to. So, because the question mark is, is Lightroom's way of telling you, hey, I don't know where these images are anymore. It has them here in the database. It has the thumbnails and the previews and all the metadata and rating information that you may have already added. But it does not know the location of the actual photo. So you have to tell it that. And the way to do that is just uh, right mouse click on the folder here. Uh, and choose uh, Find Missing Folder. If you have a one-button Mac mouse, that would just be Control clicking on that. In this case, I know I've already moved them into my uh, SD Image Archive 01A and in the 2008 folder, so I'm just going to go and tell it where that folder is. And there it is. It's the one that was taken on the 12th of August, Elmer's Barn, and I'll just click Choose. And once I do that, the folder disappears from this view right here, and then it's just going to show up in the list down below here. 
there it is right there, Elmer's Barn uh, taken on August 12th. So that's how you would do that here in Lightroom 2.0.